Hello YouTube land, I'm Eddie and this is Windy Therapy. This is my channel where I share motorcycle riding, camping and outdoor adventures. So if you're new in here, welcome, I'm glad to have you. And if you're not, thank you even more for coming back. I really appreciate you guys support and guidance over the last several months. So as promised, today I'm going to be talking about my experience hauling this, this motorcycle pop-up camper called Leisure Light. So without further ado, let's give her. This unit's brand new. I just bought a few months ago. And, and it was a little bit hard to get going because, not because the trailer, no, that was pretty easy, but because my motorcycle doesn't have, or I couldn't find a standard off-the-shelf motorcycle hitch. So I had to get it fabricated, which of course cost more money, but I had no other option. So. At the end, I will show you guys the hitch. I'm going to show you some issues that I have or had until yesterday and what I did to overcome those issues, you know, to make the hitch safe and, and adequate to haul this trailer in a safe manner. As always, safety is number one. I'm very excited to be traveling, hauling this uh, nice leisure light. Uh, but my safety is number one, so until I feel 100% or 150% safe, uh, I will not take the chance. Thankfully, over the last two months, uh, after designing, getting fabricated, and making one more revision a few days ago, I believe I came to a point that the hitch is nice and safe. Right now, I already rode about 100 kilometers, so I have a pretty good idea how it feels, what's different, uh, and what can I do to do it safely without any issues. First one, which is extremely important, which I'll be the first one to confess that I didn't have this really engraved into my mind, is the fact that the trailer just adds about 10 feet to the overall motorcycle length. So we need to be mindful that the motorcycle is almost three sizes or three times longer. Uh, so that's important when you're passing cars, when you're turning, uh, to make sure you don't clip anybody uh, because that will be a nasty accident. So number one, my rig or my motorcycle just became longer. Number two, fuel efficiency. A lot of people are asking me, you know, how's the fuel efficiency? Did it get worse? Of course it did. Uh, looking at the motorcycle computer system, I can tell that I'm burning probably 20% more gas, mainly in the city. The city might be about 30% with the stop and go, stop and go all the time because when I'm on highway speed, it becomes much, much easier. But overall, I'll probably say it's about 20%. Third point is going uphill. You can really tell you have something heavy behind you. This trailer uh, is not the heaviest in the market, but the dry weight is about 350 pounds, plus my gear, uh, I'll probably estimate another 50. So I'm hauling about 400 pounds, uh, which is one point, but the most important point is the tongue weight. Now you want to make sure you have about 10 to 15% of the total weight onto your H ball. Uh, just before I left my home, I was checking the weight and the tongue weight right now is about 38 pounds. Uh, so it's close to 10% which is just perfect. 
No, you, you don't want to have more than 15%. No, that's very, very important. So, no, don't wait is critical. Fuel efficiency goes down. Uphill is more difficult. What else can I tell? Turning, like I'm doing right now. You can really tell you have something behind you when you're turning. The faster you go, easier it becomes. No, it's, I thought it would be harder. Maybe the wind will catch the trailer and makes things a little bit harder for me. But actually, it works the other way around. The faster you go, easier it is. As far as what else is different, what else you need to be mindful about? Another one that's very important is your braking space. You have to be mindful that you have to allow extra space to stop. What I normally do, if I see that a light is going red, for example, I let the gas go way sooner than I would have otherwise. No, I let the weight of the trailer to slow me down as much as possible before I start applying the brakes. Uh, it doesn't work every time. You no, know, sometimes you have some surprises as you're riding. You have to brake uh, in situations that may be a little bit unexpected. But as a rule of thumb is, make sure you let the trailer slow you down. That's very, very important. I'm having a lot of fun, love it. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Uh, if you have questions, please write it down in the comment areas down below. As always, I'll answer honestly uh, and more accurately as possible. I don't consider myself an expert hauling a trailer like this. Like I said, I just bought it a few months ago. But I will always share my honest opinion uh, and my honest feedback. At the end of the day, I want to make sure that everybody's having fun. But most importantly, making sure that everybody's safe. Hi guys. So as promised in the beginning, now I'm going to show you the hitch, how I did it, and some details about the construction and some improvements that I made to make it even more safer. Let's remove the side bag and let's see what I got. So as you guys can see here, it's basically a steel bar, one inch wide, three quarters inch thick that I was able to attach to the frame of the motorcycle uh, and with a couple bands uh, and I had to find some strong points to attach the bar to which I think I found but the issue that I was having was the fact that the hitch was moving back and forth right that was pivoting like so and, and that was a big problem so what I had to do, which I just did uh, two days ago, was to add this reinforcement to make a triangle. Because when you make a triangle, the stuff cannot move. So very simple fix, but made it way stronger. And now the hitch is not moving. So let's see the back of the hitch. And I will tell you some more details about how I made it. This is how it looks from the back. I had to buy a bar that had a five inch drop to make sure that my trailer was properly leveled. I didn't want to see the trailer tipping up or down. So I found this piece online, standard. So it is, or it has a five inch drop. The bar itself is a one and seven eighths. However, the neck is thinner than most. So this neck is about one inch thick, but still provides uh, a 3,000 pounds uh, strength limit, which allows the hitch to rock a little bit easier. Let's remove it. So you can see how it looks like without the hitch. And then I can put this little plug and I think it looks pretty sharp. You no, know, it doesn't stand out as much when I don't have the hitch. I think it looks way better than some other options that I found online. And uh, I'm quite happy. Now I just need to powder coat those two pieces or those two reinforcements that I had to add. And after that, I'm, I'm ready to go. 
I hope you guys like it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you feel so inclined, please subscribe. And uh, until next time, folks, as always, be good, be safe, and let's keep the rubber side down. Ciao.